She's gotta go outside to age up. <laughs> That's how little room is in our house. All right, so Mildred has aged up. Oh boy. Oh, she must be a horse lover. Should we allow that? I feel like horses were back then. Whoa. I feel like horses were back then. I feel like that's fitting. So welcome back to the decades. <laughs> All right, buddy. Come and take a piece. Oh, you've already got it locked in. Okay. I'm just going to let you do your thing. You know what you're doing. Can you shut it, Nicholas? We're all trying to sleep, buddy. We're all trying to sleep. I would like to, at least every week when I stream this, I would like to get through three days, but uh, I think I would need to stream a little bit longer. Or be really well prepared and not have to create sims. But anyways, two is great because I'm getting through two days a week. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, okay? But it's better than what I was getting through. Maybe eventually I'll be able to uh, start doing like two days on stream and then another day in the week or something. Um, but these take a lot of editing, so. I would need my own office space. I'd need to make more money to get that, though. All right, so let's have them close the store because it is getting late. I'll let Catherine purchase her table. Thank you so much. Leave. It is 10 o'clock and we close the store. Everyone is asleep. Everyone is so happy because they had the birthday party and, you know, they still have their kid. Oh, let me fix um, Mabel's aging. Oh, I can't while she's sleeping. Okay. Well, I was going to just, like, give her, like, a day on her thing and it would tick her up above Mildred. Just a little sneaky, sneaky little cheat, but, yeah. All right, go ahead and sleep, buddy, because we want everyone to sleep so we can get through this night. Because it's taking forever to get through this. All right, so that is the end of that. And that's going to do it for that. Um, Mabel lost her tooth. Uh, she can wait a while for a new tooth to appear, or you can elect to fix missing tooth. No, she can have a missing tooth. I don't care. Bushy has died, the fox, and scraps. Well, maybe you wouldn't have died of a heart attack from me chasing you off my lot if you didn't if you stopped trying to eat my chickens every five seconds. Nicholas, don't cry. Just be quiet. I don't think he knows how to listen. Now, today is Julie's birthday, so we're going to go ahead and do Julie's birthday. And again, she's becoming a child, so let's, she can't get a 9 or a 19. We already know that. So that's the only birthday we have today. Um, I'm also going to have a um, Alice and William try for baby and Catherine and Richard if she's not expecting. So let's go ahead and just roll for Julie. Please care for your eyes because this is a very bright page i don't know what else to do other than to just use this page so that's what we're gonna do nine or 19 can't get a nine or 19 come on no <sighs> she got a nine yeah here we go all right let's spin this her death is gonna be choking oh that's horrible uh, MC Cheats. <sighs> I really need to remember how to do these things better. Sim commands. Maintain. Uh, wait, but we didn't get a thing for her. When we do it that way. Oh. That stinks. There she is. Died from poison. Poor Julie. Yeah. Oh, she is expecting. 
Okay, so Catherine is expecting, because it says a child on the way. Second trimester in 22 hours. Holy moly. She's She uh, conceived... Um, she can, must have conceived before Alice, if Alice is even expecting. So that's a thing. Okay, is she expecting... What is this? <sighs> Dangerously full. I don't even know if she's expecting yet. I feel like she's not. For goodness sake. Okay, this... I gotta, I gotta do this right. So this is Mabel. Mabel, Mabel, Mabel. Mabel is to go potty. <laughs> Um, when we get a chance, of course. Um, all right, you want to eat some sponge cake and then go to bed. We're going to have you go, go potty, go to bed. I don't know what he's doing. He has to go potty, so go ahead and go potty. She needs food. So take a piece. Oh, she's already eating a piece. Man, he learned to babble already. He is just flying through this. All right, Mom. Well, if you have such heavy melons, then go ahead and um, feed the baby. Breastfeed. Good. Martin, why don't you take a piece of this? Could have mom and dad try for baby. Mom should be feeling better. She's also feeling flirty. Put Nicholas to sleep there when you're done. Okay, cool. Oh, he wants to kiss her. My sims are so cute. Oh. Alright, Dad. Let's go ahead and let you be romantic. Decide to no longer consider each other family. What the heck? Horrible. Try for a pregnancy. Dad, what are you doing? <laughs> Dad just out admiring the garden at four in the morning. Like, what the heck? Dad has nothing better to do. <sighs> than to just go admire his garden. His hard work. I think he's trying to fall asleep. That's why he's crying. I can't wait until he ages up. I know that's sad to say because we just had him, but she's Louise. She's Louise. Okay, so she's excited because they're trying for baby. So hopefully he's excited about it too. Uh, Dad doesn't seem real excited about it, honestly. Does not want a child right now. Okay, fantastic. Well, doesn't that suck for you? Because nobody asked your opinion. <laughs> we just told you, let's get down to business. <laughs> All right. All right, perfect. One more attempt has been made. I'm starting to think mom is not going to get pregnant at some point in time. She's just going to be out of all of her um her chances. Like, she's getting too old or something. I don't know what's going on with her, but it's getting silly. It's getting real silly. Wait, Dad, wait. Go wash your face a few times and then go to sleep. Be fantastic. Martin. Buddy. Sugar now. <laughs> Martin, we're just going to have you go to sleep, buddy, because it's late. Or early. What, whatever you want to call it. 
And mom, we're going to have you go to bed when you're done going potty too. Oh wait, mom needs to wash her face too. Maybe she can do that as well. Dad's feeling so much better. His hygiene is so much better. So that's good. Fantastic. Mom, your turn. I really hope that one worked because I'm tired of trying with you guys. It's taking forever. How come it seems that Alice is um, less fertile than Catherine? Should we have married Catherine? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Catherine's got it going on. All right, go ahead and eat the sponge cake too when you're done. Because honestly, we don't really have time for you to eat later. And then you can go to sleep. It's already 6 in the morning and she's just going to bed now? For goodness sake. Mildred has lost a tooth. She should expect to lose it. Oh, she has a loose tooth. She should expect to lose it soon. Wiggling the tooth and brushing her teeth can help speed up the process. Or Mildred can bite the bullet and pull the tooth out. Oh, gosh. Ow. No. Okay. Um. Alright. Go ahead and go potty over here. Because I'm be honest, no one wants to go in there to go potty. So, go ahead and do that. What's this? Oh, she had a creepy nightmare about insects. Ugh. Maybe she doesn't like them. And then you can grab a serving. And then we'll have you wash your hands a few times. Because I think that will help you. So, do like three washes. Mom, go to bed. Mom, go to bed. Just for a little bit. And then we're going to have you take care of the baby when he wakes. Because that is what we got to do. All right, Mildred. <laughs> Sprinting around. Martin, please stop. Please stop waking people up. It's so annoying. I absolutely despise it. Build a tower. Be quiet. Why are you waking your sister up? Like, seriously. Uh, clean up the dishes, please. For some reason, Mabel is still um, lower than Mildred. I'm not quite sure why. But it's okay. We're getting through it. Trying to remember. It's hard, too, because they both have red hair. So it's not like I could be like, oh yeah, Mabel has blonde hair and Mildred has red. No, they both have red. Like all of our kids except for I think, uh, what's his face over here has red hair. So. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> Her face is inside the sink. Alright, but she's feeling much better now, so that's good. Um, all right, it's eight o'clock. I think we should get up and start taking care of the farm. So it's snowing today, but I don't know how much feed is down here. There wasn't much yesterday, so we're going to take care of a little bit. Collect the eggs and clean the coop and... I think that should be it. These two eggs are incubating, so we're just waiting on all that to happen. Refill the feed, clean the shed. That should help there. Mabel is hungry, but there's no food until mom makes some. So maybe she could pick up a little bit. And Mildred... Oh, Mildred, can you gather... Okay, gather some water. And can you hang the clothes from this? No? Okay. Um... I don't even know what to have her do, because there's not a whole lot she can do. Mom, let's have you make some breakfast. Let's have... Today, let's have some pottage. Here we go. Mom? Go ahead and make some pottage, please. Oh... From dreaming of dying? 
Oh, that's so sad. All right, so she's ready to feed Nicholas. And I was looking to see if she had like any movements that she was expecting, but I don't see it. Darn it. Oh my gosh, you're scaring mom. Now she's paranoid. <laughs> Alice has been very scared and a bit paranoid. Sure. <laughs> oh, that's great. She's reached the max of her time. She can embrace a self-discovery trait moment. Okay. We got six eggs. Fantastic. What's this? Oh, he was dreaming about woohooing. Okay. <laughs> Empty oven. Why would you do that when mom's cooking? It's pretty horrible. <laughs> Irrational danger. I mean, back in this day, wouldn't everyone be paranoid like that their kids are going to die, that they're going to die, that they're going to starve to death, that they're going to freeze to death? I mean, I don't know. That would be my thought anyways. I'd be like, oh boy, if I step outside, I'm probably going to die because it's freezing cold out there and I don't have any way to really get warm. <laughs> They should be paranoid. And there's like, you know, I know they don't know that the Great Famine is coming, but I do. And it makes me paranoid. So. <laughs> I'd be scared I would like, my crops wouldn't grow and I wouldn't have any way to feed my family or something. You know, like something like that. I would be paranoid. So I get it. I get it, Alice. We get it. Dad's just outside working away. Mildred likes jokes. Okay. I think we'll get more on that when we get more families branching off. But right now, we don't really have a lot of families branching off. But eventually, that, that mod that I just clicked out of will come in handy. Dad, you do not have to clean up the garbage. Just eat your breakfast, please. Oh, yes. Throw it on the floor. Fantastic. All right, Mom. Go ahead and... Oh, you know what? We can only clean up the babies at this one, which is kind of weird. So clean up Martin a few times. He's looking pretty stank. So let's uh, let's get his little booty cheeks cleaned up. I think he like pooped his diaper or something, I'm going to be honest with you. Nicholas is chilling, but he does need to be fed. So, Mom, when you're done with Martin, let's get it. Um... Excuse me, Mabel? Now you can throw it all away. She wants to adopt a rat. Is she insane? Mabel thinks owning a rat would be a big plus in her life and promises to keep it in its cage. My answer is no. No, you may not have a rat. We don't have the greatest of houses, but we don't need to be inviting rats inside. Squirrel, maybe. <laughs> yeah, a rat. Like, couldn't you be more excited to have a cow or a chicken? Why does it have to be a rat? Ugh. Goodness sakes, girl. <gasps> I think she's expecting... She has something that says Alice shares how tired she feels during her pregnancy. She could sleep all day, but never rest properly. This really is crazy. Okay, come change his diaper and breastfeed. 
Yay, babies! The mother is paranoid, the daughter wants a rat. <laughs> Go potty. Um, what can we do today? It's very snowy out. Oh, it sounds like real life. Um, so did dad... Wait, dad might have already done that. I don't want to... Well, he collected the eggs. Let's clean the coop. And I think dad should also... What is... Richard, stop it. Let's call over Gertrude because we need to take care of Gertrude. And mom is taking care of baby, so all good there. Mom, I think when you're done with him, let's go ahead and have you move this laundry to the clothesline. That's the truth about pregnancy. All right, go ahead and clean this up. You know, when I was pregnant, I never felt really, really tired. I mean, I did, like, towards the end of my pregnancy, of course, but I, ne I don't think I ever really felt, like, really tired to the point, like, I could just pass out. I think I was always pretty awake. All right, wash your hands. I know it's cold out and there's a storm, but it's all good in the hood. It's going to be just fine. Oh, thank you. F so freaking fantastic that you'd bring me my bills. Uh, sort junk mail. Uh, okay. Infant laughter. You were? Oh. Mom, what are you doing? Alright, replace this water. He's sorting through junk mail. He's like, okay. <laughs> Billy Bob's getting married over there in <laughs> Tinseltown. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's also get the mail and see what's in here. All right, he's collected everything from the mailbox. So what is it? What did we get? Oh, wait, we got some toys. Chompy the monster is an egg. So we'll give that to Martin. And this fearsome dragon toy. Because, I mean, who doesn't like dragons? Come on. And then we can put the eggs in here. And I think that's it. Oh, man, did we use... Where's our logs? Please tell me to we not throw our logs on this fire when I started that fire. Oh, no. What? William is getting worried and overthinking about his partner. Why are they always tired? Maybe it's time to visit the gynecologist and get some explanation. What? William's disappointment weighs heavy, having been denied the gift of a coveted coupon. Only time can heal those shattered dreams. What is going on? Okay, anyways, um, let's cut down and harvest. Your arm seems to have healed. She's just exhausted. I think he's just losing his freaking mind. Oh my. We literally just replaced this water and it already the thing inside is already stuffed full again. Um add some sage. I don't think we could sell that, so Can you add some more? <laughs> Alright, and then can you also go ahead and search the pockets and do the laundry? We gotta get the laundry done. I know it's cold, but put your winter clothes on. Are you in your winter clothes? 
Are you in your winter clothes? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Mabel and Mildred are jokesters. What the heck? Can you go here? Why can't I click on her? Okay, make a candle then, I guess. Here you go, make a candle. Ah, I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. Oh, so cute. Yeah, he is a messy eater and I can't wait for that to be over. Let's be honest. Dad. Wash your face. And then I think maybe dad could play some songs. What's the bad surroundings? Doesn't look like there's bad surroundings. Practice. I just saw a... Yeah. Oh, wow. Look, all of our stuff is starting to grow. All right. Let's shoo this away. Shoo Vixie away. He's going after that squirrel. Get out of here, bro. I hope this doesn't wake the baby. Because the baby is sleeping. It might. Be prepared. Did you... Shoo this away? Okay. Um... You kind of need to go potty. So why don't you go potty? It's still dripping. I think we also need to get water today. So let's have you gather some water. Mom is saying she likes guitar. Okay. She's still working on a candle. Did we forget to open the store today? Yep, I did. Shoot. And we have this wonderful chair for someone to buy, too. Is anyone hungry that needs to grab some of this off the table? Not at the moment. Mom is probably the hungriest out of everybody. Can I have you search the pockets? Where are you? Oh, she's gathering water. Right. Look at her walk. <laughs> okay, it doesn't wake him up to play this. That's good to know. Yay! Alice! Woohoo! It seems that Alice had a cryptic pregnancy. She has now realized that she is pregnant. She was not showing, had no symptoms, and simply overall had no idea. The pregnancy is much more advanced than the usual point. <gasps> Hold on. It says the pregnancy is much more advanced than the usual point at which a sim finds out they're expecting because there was no signs at all this time. Wh oh my gosh, she's almost in her third trimester. She has six hours and she could go into labor. Alice had no idea that she was pregnant. There were simp simply hardly any signs of it. She could not be any more shocked. She's literally about to give birth. Wh what does that? I didn't know that could happen either, but I've been saying for a while that she's been so hungry and having to go to the bathroom every five minutes. I didn't know that that was a thing, but now that I do, like, oh my goodness. Okay, use, go clean this. What does he need? Why don't you look at the toys? 
play with the toys, do some things. Alice, when you're done, come back and grab a serving of this. She did not go potty like I told her to. She just decided to come back. Go potty. Man, she's got her social skill already to nine. Oh, we got the grab milestone. Nice. Not as shocked as I am. <laughs> oh no, we've used up the last of our power. Oh, he got his guitar skills level two. Nice. Can you just stop? You're just you're cleaning too much. <laughs> you're making me feel like I'm doing nothing over here. All right, let's see. Uh, go potty. Oh my goodness, that gave me a heart attack. I always forget how loud that really is. It is so loud. Uh, grab a serving. I'm in shock. Five hours? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's see. Where's the candle? Oh my gosh, she didn't even make the candle. I need the candle for the table, bro. Why can't you eat that? Grab a serving when you're done. What's wrong with him? Alright, then try to go to bed. Um. What do these kids need to do other than just be annoying? Clean this up. Okay, she finished making the candle. Let's slap it down on the table so that we have some light in here. Stop crying, Mar Nicholas. I almost called him Martin. Can you play with this? Here. Can you reach this? Play. Oh, you're sleeping. Okay. Martin's like, I don't know what's going on. Take a nap. <laughs> Martin's all over the place. Dad? I think maybe you could take a little break for a second here. Let's have you go potty. Why did you take him? Stop it. Why don't you put him in the bed here? And then go potty. Why does he put him back down there? Stop it. Mom, where are you? Come grab a serving. Why can mom not get inside? Grab a serving? Why can mom not get inside? Okay. Grab a serving. I don't know what's going on with her. Dad, can you please go potty? Why don't you grab a serving? And you, if there's another one. No, not for Martin. Let's grab a serving. Martin's not really that hungry. Well, he's more hungry than dad, I guess. So, well, it's gone now anyways. Uh-oh, she's starting to lose some milk. Oh, she says she's embarrassed because she feels so, she feels fat. That's not even true. You're pregnant. Come on. Are we in our third trimester now? Three more hours. Literally by like 10 tonight, she's going to be ready to give birth. Oh, for goodness sake. All right, mom, go ahead and clean up.
Dad. I say we have Dad make something else on this. Let's see. Let's have Dad make... Um... What else can he make on here? Maybe this dining room table? That kind of looks good. I try to make things that look like the times, of course. I don't want to make something that I feel like wouldn't have been from the times. Alright, mom's washing dishes. Mom, you could go to bed. You're tired. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, Nicholas is sleeping. He is asleep in his crib for a little while. So you have some time to catch up on some sleep. And... Well, if you want the stinky diaper changed, then change it yourself. That's how I feel. Alright, you clean this up this time. Martin, what's wrong, buddy? Go potty. Why can mom not get inside again? I feel like I've had this issue before and I don't remember what it was. Mom, go to bed. Alright, so we're making some monies. Yeah, she could play with the little dragon toy. That's fine. Dad, how's it going with this? Finish it up. Finish it up and finish strong. Is there anything else we could add to this little table here that we could sell? Because we're kind of starting to run low on some stuffs. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to do the wax or these. Like, I don't want them either of them to be sold. So, I'm not doing those. We could do these mushrooms, but they're only a dollar. We can't do the sage. Like, I think we... I physically think we can't do it at all. Yeah. We can't do the sage at all. What about these? Well, we could set these for sale. I know it's not much, but it does add up after a while. Especially if people are just, you know, buying it and we're not having to actually, like, sit here and do anything for it. So it does, it does add up. Very time consuming to set these out here, though. That's for sure. And so, I try not to do it all the time because it can get really tedious. But, if we keep this full, at least it will keep us getting some money. And I do think they would have just sold anything, honestly, to make money back then. Like, if your family is needing money, of course, you're just going to sell what you have, you know? And food is what we make off of our land, so I just think that would be something we'd do. Um, I got a present that is dumb. I want to trade it with a friend or give it back. What can I do? The present was for you. Be grateful. Alright, that one was glitching kind of because of the pop-up. But this way we'll have quite a few things for sale again. So I won't have to worry about it for a little bit. And, I mean, we're up to 200 simoleons again. So that's really good. At one point, I think we were sitting at like a thousand simoleons. I was really shocked. But we spent all that money. Unfortunately. I don't even remember what we spent it on. But we spent it. So. Yeah. Trying to get as many of these out here as possible. Okay. We get it. I love how nobody is going back inside now. Everybody is just set outside for life. I guess. Well, unless they're in the dining, unless they're in that dining room, and I just don't see them because they're behind that fridge, that's a possibility. But I don't think so. I think they're literally outside. No, I don't want you to eat that. Can you not set that one for sale? Okay. Oops. Nope. I can't set these ones for sale. I don't know what's up with them, but we can't set them for sale. All good. Oh, they are in the dining room. Okay, let's extinguish this candle before it, like, burns all out. 
Um, dad is good. So I'm going to have dad go to bed. I'm going to have mom wake up real quick. I want her to... Can she hold Nicholas? I want to change his diaper and feed him. I also want mom to go potty. So. Alright. And then you sleep here. Why are you sleeping on the hay bale? He's really hungry, but there's no food. We might have to have mom make something. Alright. Go ahead and change his diaper. So, baby care. Change diaper. Is he, like, physically dirty? Oh, he is. Okay. So, Mom, clean up uh, Nicholas twice. Three times. There we go. Go clean him up. And then you can go ahead and breastfeed him. No, 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 Mom. Mom. Oh, my gosh. She's in her third trimester. Look how big she is. Oh, oh my goodness, Alice. Oh, my goodness. You guys are crazy insane for coming all out here like this. Um, Hello, child of mine. Stop sleeping on the log and go sleep inside where it's warm. I swear to goodness, sometimes my sims are like, Complete and utter idiots. No, don't put him in the snow. Oh, for heaven's sake. Pick up the baby. All right, mom, use this and then clean up Nicholas. Please be quick. Oh, for goodness. For heaven's sake, he's in the freezing cold. Look at him freezing from being cold due to temperature. Mom, hurry up! Yeah, we get it. It's a blizzard. Get out of my face! <laughs> I can't see the other side of your land. <laughs> we get it. Oh my gosh, Mom, you're belly is huge holy moly okay how is the hygiene hygiene is great now let's just feed him mom feed him um baby care breastfeed stop trying to hand him to him just literally please just for goodness sake, Mom! What are you doing? Get inside before you freeze to death. Oh my gosh, please, 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 please pick him up and feed him. Mom, just feed him! What is Mom doing? Hey, Mom, do it. Alright, something's wrong with Mom. I'm resetting her. And... Breastfeed. Please, for the love of goodness, breastfeed this child. Dad is like, what are you doing, Alice? What are you doing? <laughs> He's so concerned. You're just like out here with her like, honey, are you feeling okay? Oh, for goodness sake! Hello? Where did this kid just come from? Okay, I don't even know what's going on at this rate. Mom refuses to do anything with Nicholas. Put Nicholas to bed. I don't even know. She won't feed him. Um, Mom, let's have you cook up something quickly before I get off. Because some of these people are starving. So let's get some food made. She can't go inside. Mom. Oh, for God's sake. 
Why can't mom get through the door? Is her stomach that big that she seriously can't get through the front door? For goodness sake. <laughs> Pregnant or not, you still gotta make it in your front door. Martin, get off of the chair and get inside. It's cold out. I'm sit here. Dad, at least put the baby there because I know mom can get him from there. And then come sit at the table. TV season premiere. They have TVs and electricity. <laughs> no. She might be having multiples. Maybe. I mean, for goodness sake, that'd be the best thing that ever happened to us. Can you please sit at the table? Sit inside, please. Oh my goodness! Why will no one pick this baby up? Put Nicholas here. Oh, mom made the food. Okay, thank goodness. This is the wrong kid. I'm trying to get food with the wrong kid. Grab a serving. Dad, grab a serving. Mom. Mom, why did you go outside? Okay, what is wrong with this kid? Let's reset him. Okay, there we go. Reset. And now, let's see. Breastfeed. Can we breastfeed him now? Was it him that was glitched and not mom this whole time? <laughs> I'm not sure multiples will be the best if they keep the babies lying out in the snow. That's true. Okay, can you just pick him up, please? Oh my goodness. Why can't they change outfit for Nicholas? At least put him in his cold weather or something, for goodness sake. Where are you going? Mom? Bringing out the best? I don't know about that. This don't look like the best to me. Dad's in here eating away and so is Martin. Just, no one cares about poor Nicholas out here on the ground. Freezing to death. Oh my goodness! Mom! Please, for the love of goodness, he's about to get taken away! Why won't she pick him? Pick him up. I don't care about changing his outfit. Pick him up. <laughs> Stop crying so mom can pick you up. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. Pick him up. Stop it, dad. Leave him be. Just sit on the sidelines or something. Come. Why can nobody pick him up? I'm about to cheat his needs because nobody can seem to pick him up. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know. Trying right now. Dad, pick him up. Okay. Can you please... Can you hand him to mom? I don't, I don't even understand. Invite in. For goodness sake, this game has lost its freaking mind. Um... What do I do with him? He needs to go potty for one. So let's just like have him do that. Use your diaper. Okay. Well, I got that taken care of. Now, Dad, can you put Nicholas down here? And we'll have Mom pick him up from there. If, if mom can't pick him up from this baby thing, I'm going to cheat his, his food because it's unfair that it's a glitch. Something's going on with mom. Um, I'm going to have mom teleport in here too. She keeps saying she can't walk through the front door. So mom, come on. All right. Now mom, if you can't do this, I'm cheating his, I'm cheating his food. Because this is getting silly. Be feed him. It has cradle, like she's gonna do it. No, 
Okay. How about this? Dad, can you just feed him uh, from a bottle? Let's see. Feed. Bottle feed him. Just for this one time until we can figure out what's going on with mom. Dad can do it. So something's going on with mom. I don't know what's going on with her, but she's crazy. We lost our freaking marbles. Here, mom, eat. Grab a serving. Oh, but you could do that. Of course, she can take care of herself, but she can't take care of her own son. <laughs> what is wrong? All right. Well, I let dad bottle feed him. You're not supposed to, but I don't want him to get taken away. And he really needed, really, really needed to eat. So that's why I just did it. Put Nicholas to sleep here. Go to sleep. You go to sleep. Let's close this. Oh, it's 5 o'clock in the morning of the next day. Of course. Alright, well, Dad fed him, but, you know, it is what it is. If you have to do that for a glitch, I don't see anything wrong with it, honestly. And... Okay. Yeah. The egg is ready to hatch. Fantastic. I'm just going to leave the store open because that's just that. All right. So Nicholas at least got taken care of. I did not want to come back to him like, you know, full on. Like about to starve. Bladder was all the way down. His energy was all the way down. That's horrible. Nobody wants to come back like that. Honestly, no one would want to deal with that. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Yeah. I mean, I don't normally have dad feed him from a bottle and I keep dad away from the baby most times. Just so he doesn't do that. But, I mean, I'm not going to just sit here and have my kid taken away because there's a glitch in my game. That's just not fair to me. Okay. <laughs> so, mom is a basket case. Literally can't do much for herself. Nicholas is screaming, but that's fantastic. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. It is 6 o'clock in the morning. I do recognize. Um, yeah, it is the game's fault. Something's going on with mom. I don't know what's going on with her. Um, I'm going to leave it here though, because we did play through the two days and we have probably two whole pregnancies coming in the next episode. I think Alice and Catherine must both be in their third trimesters. I'm not sure who's going to give birth first because Alice's whole thing with the surprise pregnancy really shook me. I have no idea what mod that's from. And if anyone does, please leave it in the comments below because I really want to know. But that really, really, really threw me off. I was like, what the heck? Where I thought mom this whole time wasn't expecting. And I kept having them woohoo to try for another pregnancy. And it just it wasn't going. And then I thought something was going on because dad was like, oh, she's so tired all of a sudden. <laughs> Anyways, because they didn't know that she was actually pregnant and she was way farther along than I expected. So good to know that that can happen. I don't know if that's a mod or the game, but that was really scary and uh, a lot farther in into the pregnancy than I expected. So yeah, she's definitely giving birth in the next episode. Um, these episodes are going to be out on YouTube for rewatch. So if you missed anything, you can see it there. I have all of my episodes leading up to this as well. And, um, all of my decade stuff, I have posted the new, um, family tree up on my discord and, you know, photos and such are there as well. I am going to do some more behind the scenes stuff like with the graveyard and get that all set up because I still need to add Matilda to it. I know that it, she was in it for the video of her funeral and everything. And we also need to remember that next time, maybe even after the babies are born, like the day after the second day or whatever, we need to throw a funeral for John because we still haven't done that. And we need to lay him to rest at the graveyard. So I need to do that. I also want to put Jane there with John because I just think that's cute. And um, yeah. Think of some names for babies because we're going to have a lot of them coming. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitch if you'd like to see this live. And I will talk to you guys in my next one. Thanks so much for watching.